Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Just a quick update. Uh, I've got three more clocks uh, ready to go. <laughs> got all the parts printed for them and just playing around with different uh, filament colors, uh, different fronts, uh, just all kinds of things. <clears throat> That's one reason I like 3D printing. You can keep experimenting. Uh, this is the one I just finished uh, today. Looks like it's running pretty well. I don't really have hands for it yet. Uh, I'm printing those on the bamboo, uh, some tests. I'll show you that in a minute, but um, I really like the green on this. It's a green and uh, yellow. I'm not sure exactly the colors, but um, uh, so it prints, you can see it's like a turquoise and a green. Maybe that's it. Um, anyway, so this one is a silver and a gold, and those will be interesting when it's done. And this one is like a brass or a copper and a silver. So it'll be really interesting to see these things put together. And I may get some more colors, just to, having so much fun with these different colors. And then this one, I had a lot of fun with. It's a blue and a black. It depends which way you look at it. It is either a black or a blue. Uh, so I made a couple of these, the frames out of that. And it's really interesting material. This one, I tried something different. It's black, but it's got sparkles in it. Little silver uh, flakes, um, best way to say it. But um, so I'm just experimenting with these. Uh, the other thing I started working on is I put some tomatoes in and I needed some tomato cages. And I looked at metal ones at our local Lowe's store and wasn't real happy with them. I said, well, I can print some. So I found the design and modified it um, because the original design was just too small but I could tell that was the size printer that the person that designed it had so that's all they could do so I'm printing these on my, one of my big rat rigs so you can see this will be the last um, layer I need for to finish this one right here but uh, then they'll just go out in the garden and be pounded in then this one I'm printing some uh, uh, it's flying helicopters. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but these are the pull strings or the pull bars for them. And um, so again, it's really nice to have the combination of printers because I can print really big things on this and smaller things, but that need to go really fast on this one. So these are going to be the hands for the clock. They're just right now in clear just to test the fit. And I made these uh, chip clips before. I'm printing some of those. This one's broken right now. <clears throat> I had a jam and I took it apart and I broke the extruder. So I'm going to buy a new one. It's on order. It's $35, so not a big deal. But what I did is there's a sensor that the little thing hanging down is a knife. And it tells when that knife has cut the filament. And uh, I think I broke that taking it apart and I don't know how to fix it. So it's just easier to get a new one. But I was talking about, um, these are the toys that the little rotor goes on top here. 